Hi, Meg here. Welcome back to my channel. I'm a brand photographer based out of San Diego, California. I've served hundreds of entrepreneurs to build their personal brand and attract their soulmate clients. And I've served hundreds of photographers like you in building your dream photography business. Today, we are talking all about your offers and packages. Specifically, I wanna share four different options I've tried and the pros and cons of each. So this is a question I get asked a lot from my students is how do you really package your pricing and services? What works, what doesn't work? And we're gonna go over it today. In another video, we're actually gonna go into more like strategy and I'm gonna break down exactly like, like line item, what I would include in each offer. But first, we're just really talking about pros and cons of each because this is where you need to start is decide which option you're gonna go with. I wanna just jump in and start with probably the most popular option that you can offer and that is a three-tier pricing structure. So what that means is you're gonna have three ways they can work with you, you know, offer one, two, and three, and you usually are presenting it that way where you're like lining it up on a pricing guide where they can really compare all three packages. I don't love to say packages because it kind of like makes your you know, experience and offer sound cheap. I like to say collections. <laughs> so you have your three collections um, and ways they can work with you and they can kind of compare and, and the benefit of that, let's just jump right into it. The pros is that your client has three different price points. And so you are able to really appeal to three different types of entrepreneurs and business owners where they're at, maybe someone who has a smaller budget, medium sized budget, or they have a lot to spend and they want your full, full blown offer. <laughs> Another pro is that you get to kind of experiment and see what you really like to do. Uh, if you just start with one offer only, that's fine, but you won't really know, do I like the one hour session or do I like the three hour session or do I actually love the full day session of six hours and going to multiple locations? Which one feels like your zone of genius? Another benefit to the three tier option is it's easier to sell, to be honest, because it's easier to sell because you're giving them three options, three price points, and you have that like lower price point. So if they just wanna spend the minimum, it's there for them. Um, yeah, I'd say that's a little a little bit of an advantage if you hate sell selling and you're just starting, you don't feel confident in that area. The biggest cons of the three tier is that all of a sudden you're not really in control of what the client's going to book and how many you can't really it's harder to predict your income numbers it's harder to set goals and achieve those income goals because you don't know how many clients are going to book the first package how many are going to book the second how many are going to book the the higher end package of course we want to like set it up in a way where most people book that middle package but we really don't have control ultimately. And what I've found is that when I'm offering multiple offers to my clients, sometimes they are going with that like cheaper starting offer because even though the middle one is amazing, I'm giving them all these options so now they can just go with the lower one. You know, full transparency I have seen when I went from just having one main signature offer to offering multiple, a lot more people will book that lower tier offer the half day just as a starting and they don't like really step into that next level and so overall like I do have to serve more clients when I'm offering this bigger variety of um, packages and offers because I'm not always booking my ideal price point sometimes people are going for the low one and so I end up having to serve more clients throughout the month or the year in order to hit my revenue goals okay now let's talk about mini sessions so you might have heard of mini sessions especially if you've done family photography it's basically like a short session the client is getting typically around 30 minutes or less and they're just getting a few photos from you but what you do is you do back-to-back -back clients in one location on the same day. You really have the potential to make a lot of money on one day. So I know my last couple mini session days 
were at least $8,000 um, in revenue from serving eight clients that day. And so that's definitely a pro is that you can make more money in one day of shooting if you are pricing yourself correctly and really bringing the value to your clients. You can also offer a lot of like upsells for the client, I've done mini session days where I had a second location option at sunset. The first location was inside a space I rented and if they wanted, they could add the second location on to their day as well. Um, or they could add more photos to their final gallery later. So ideally you're including like three or five or maybe 10 photos in your mini session day and then they can always purchase more. if you do end up capturing photos they love and they want to buy more. So there is the potential for a lot of good upsells on a mini session day. I've even offered uh, reels and I've had a couple people come in and film reels for clients that wanted reels so that when I'm done with the photos, they go and create some reels with them. And that's also worked really well too. Another big pro to a mini session day is it's really easy and fun for both you as the photographer and your clients. So you know, on a one-on-one -on -one brand session, full day or half day session, I'm doing a lot more planning for their brand. We're meeting on Zoom, we're going over their brand questionnaire and they have to plan six to 12 outfits. And it's a lot more work that goes into it. But on a mini session day, your client can just really show up with a couple outfits, you've already rented the location. I oftentimes will already have a makeup artist on site where they can come about you know, an hour, 30 minutes to an hour before their session and get their makeup done. And it's fun because you have multiple clients in one location, they're encouraging each other, they're meeting each other, they're networking, and it just keeps like the vibe really high energy and really fun. Another reason I love mini session days is they always generate a lot of buzz. So when I'm marketing for the mini session and generating leads, I will post on Instagram a few times, maybe do some reels, send out some emails. And I talk about how it's really 75% off my full day big brand session. So it's a great price. And this generates like so much buzz. People are like, I want information, me, me, me. And I usually generate so many leads, dozens and dozens of leads. And not everybody commits that day to the mini session, but then I have all these dozens of new people in my network. You're serving, you know, five, eight, 10 or more people on one day. And so all of a sudden, you know, your client list just grew instead of just by one person. If you were one-on-one, -on -one, you just got eight new clients and eight new client reviews and eight more people that are posting and tagging you on social media and eight more people that are talking about you and referring you. So it's definitely really great in that sense. And now we're gonna get into some cons. So cons of the mini session day is, it is a lot more work for you to plan as the photographer versus just a one-on-one -on -one shoot with the client. Even though we don't have like the planning and brand strategy session with each person, it's just a lot of emails back and forth, a lot more admin work for you because now you are booking eight people <laughs> or 10 people. And so there's all those invoices to send, all those emails to send out. So you just have to be very organized with a mini session. I have all my emails templated out. So I send them to everybody at once with all the details of the day and I, you know, um, tips for planning to get the most out of their photo shoot. And so there is that that you, you'll want to consider. It takes a lot more of your time to really book everybody, plan the details of the day. You have to rent a space. So there is that additional cost. That's another con is that there's a little more money up front you need to invest. If you're gonna do a mini session day, you really wanna invest in a great space. I'm usually spending about $1,000 or more on the space, and that's included in the price for the clients. Of course, I factor that in when I'm pricing it out and <laughs> make sure I'm not underpricing. Um, but you know, I have to go and make sure I find a good space, make sure to book it, um, coordinate a makeup artist, get assistance. That's another big thing with a mini session days. You definitely are going to want one or two assistants to be greeting your clients and helping them out with any questions while you're photographing the other client, uh, to really provide that high end amazing experience. Another con of the mini session, and I wouldn't say it's a con, but more of a challenge for you as the photographer is it is it can be high stress you really have to show up and perform in a big way you need to be rested 
you have to show up with good energy and you have to be really comfortable and confident with going through a lot of poses really quickly with the client and warming them up really quickly on camera so you still get that authentic, those authentic, beautiful images um, and capture their natural energy and get a huge variety for them. So you just gotta come with your A game. So <laughs> it's like a little more pressure in, in terms of that. The next type of offer we're going to talk about is the one offer, your one signature offer. So there was a long time where I just only offered one way to work with me. It was my full day branding session and that's it. They either booked it or they didn't work with me. I didn't offer many sessions back then. I didn't offer a one, two or three hour shoot. It was a six to eight hour session, full day commitment in order to work with me. The biggest pro to just having one offer is you're just simplifying your business so much. And you're sim also simplifying the decision for the client who really wants to work with you. They don't have time. They don't need to go back and think about what offer is good for them. It's just this or it's nothing. And so it makes it an easy yes or no <laughs> based on if they can afford you. Next thing I really loved about having the one signature offer is that I got to really pour all my energy and heart into making that experience incredible for my clients. Um, and I did, it was, it really became what I was known for the full day photo shoot. And I made every little step in the customer journey, just really customized and catered to that offer and my client. And another thing that happens as a result of having just one offer that you talk about and sell is your marketing becomes a lot more simple too, because now you're just talking about the one thing. Everybody knows exactly what you're offering. It's really crystal clear. And that's all you talk about. That's all you get really excited about. And you really hype it up as being your signature thing, your most popular thing that everybody just has to book you for. And so the last big benefit to having that signature offer is you really simplify your goals and sales as a business owner. It You don't have to, you know, second guess your pricing. It just is what it is. If they want to work with you, if it's a good fit, they're going to commit. Even if it's like a little more than they expect it to spend, if that's your only option, then, you know, they're going to say, okay, I'm going to splurge a little bit because I really want to work with Meg. Or Okay. So now the con of having just one signature offer is really that you're gonna lose people. You're gonna lose people that don't have the budget for that yet. So whereas if you had one more offer that was a little bit lower priced, they might totally say yes, but they have to say no right now. You have to really just be dialed in about who this offer is for and make sure your messaging and your marketing to the right audience. Just consider that. Consider that if you wanna just book as many clients as possible, if you're in the beginning of your business and you don't have a lot of referrals coming in or leads coming in, it is helpful to offer more than one. That's really the only con I can think about. Like everything else I really loved about having just the one offer. Okay, let's get into subscription pricing. So this is a big, um, big kind of trend in the brand photography industry right now. And it it's, makes sense because our branding clients, they have businesses, they're gonna need content, not just for like one event, they need content all year round, year after year to keep growing their business. And you need fresh content. Subscription offers are great because your brand client can sign up for working with you for a year, maybe doing a quarterly photo shoot or two photo shoots a year or maybe one photo shoot a month. It really depends on the business and how many photos they wanna get at that time, what's really gonna work best for that type of client. My clients are pretty busy entrepreneurs, like really growing their business, scaling. Um, they work with a lot of clients. And so taking the time to do photo shoots like every month or every quarter is a lot for them. So I've learned over the years, cause I started with doing four photo shoots a year as my subscription offer. And that was just too many delivering like over a hundred photos per photo shoot. And that's like 400, 500, 600 photos a year. None of my clients are going to post that many. There's not even enough days of the year if you posted a photo every day. So that's where you have to be careful and really, you know, make sure you are creating the right offer. So some of the pros I already mentioned 
is that business owners need ongoing content. So it's really great for them and you. For them, they get to work with the same photographer. You get to really know their brand, photo shoot after photo shoot. It really just gets better and better, the results and the photos, because you really understand the client. You understand their angles. You understand what photos they're using the most, what poses they love of themselves. Another big perk to subscription offers is that you're booking your clients at a higher price point and you're gonna have them for longer and ultimately it's going to equal less marketing efforts and outreach on your part as the business owner. Because let's say instead of 30 clients a year, now you only need 10 clients who book you for your yearly subscription, which is three photo shoots a year, 10 times three is 30. So you're doing 30 photo shoot days, but you only have to find 10 clients for those days and those spots. So it's very important, of course, you price yourself correctly with this. The last big pro I wanna mention, I set it up where it's a deposit, a larger deposit, and then 10 or 11 payments over the next year, smaller monthly payments. And they're just on auto pay. I use HoneyBook, which makes it super easy to set up the auto pay for these clients. And that way, instead of paying like a few big chunks, um, of money to work with me, it makes the payment so much more manageable. So they pay like a smaller monthly payment over the year and they get two photo shoots to use with me during that year. For me as a business owner, it keeps my income and cash flow a little more steady and regular throughout the year. Because if I look ahead the next 11 months, I have a good chunk, like a good foundation of income already scheduled already coming out on auto pay for the next 11 months. And that's because of my subscription-based clients. So if you're wanting to really create a little more stability in your business, a little more security as an entrepreneur, where you can look ahead and be like, oh, I don't have to start at zero income every month. You know, your payment plans are really important how you're setting those up. Another con is I just wanna mention with subscription-based pricing, you do have to be a lot more organized in your workflows, your behind the scenes systems, because now they have several photo shoots to use. You gotta keep track of that. You need to have like some reminders, a calendar, a flow of when you're gonna reach out and make sure their next photo shoot is getting booked because sometimes people can procrastinate on using their photo shoots and let's say they get four in a year and they do one and then six months go by and they haven't used their other three. And I've definitely run into this where this happens and all of a sudden I get backed up and there's all these clients who wanna use their photo shoots like over a year later. So you have to be really, um, really specific and lay out in your contract and your agreement with your client that it must be used in the 12 months. And I do wanna mention that a big con is that if you sell your subscription for too cheap or you give too big of a discount or you sign too many people up at once because it's just like such a good offer and then six months later you raise your pricing but then you have all these people on your old price still, it kind of prevent, it prevents you from growing as quickly as you could and scaling as quickly as you could as you raise your prices. So I really want to caution you and to, to really limit how many spots you open for your subscription pricing so you can try it out and make sure you find like what's the ideal number of sessions per year, what's the ideal price point, do I even like doing this, am I enjoying this? type of offer are my clients loving it and you kind of want to experiment with some clients first before really like signing everybody up on that because then you're locked in to delivering all those photo shoots that they just bought and signed an agreement for so just be careful okay we made it to the end of the video thank you so much for watching i know that was a lot of information to cover but hopefully you have a better idea of the type of offer you can create as a brand photographer and there's really four different things that i've tried these four things i want to now share which one has worked best and here we go i'll just tell you that all of them have worked <laughs> there's not 
one of these that has not worked for me. All of them have sold well. I have profited off of trying all four of these things. All of these work well, but you have to try and see what works for you because maybe not all of them will work great for you. You gotta really see what you love to offer as the photographer, as the business owner, and see what gets you passionate and excited to talk about but eventually, you know, you could try all of them to really see what you like. In business, it's not about just, you know, narrowing down your pricing and your branding and your ideal client and your website and never changing it again. <laughs> We're always gonna be changing our client experience, our website, our offers. We're gonna be shifting our ideal clients over the years as photographers. So don't get so focused on like an obsessed with researching and trying to like figure out the perfect, perfect package you should offer and the perfect number that you don't just like go out there and start serving clients and figuring out who you actually like. Cause you're not gonna know what's best for you until you have served 10, 20, 40, 50 clients. Then you're gonna really understand oh, you know, I really like this or I don't really like this and I'm gonna try this other thing or I'm gonna try this now. So that's my biggest thing is just try not to get overwhelmed by <laughs> all the details. Start getting dozens and hundreds of clients in front of your camera and that's where you're really gonna grow the most. I wanna thank you so much for watching. I hope you got a ton of value from this video. Make sure you're subscribed and hit the um, little reminder notification bell so that you do get reminders about my next video. I will do a follow-up on this and make sure we kind of dive into specifically each package and offer what is included, like the line items, like how much time, how much locations I, or how many locations I include, how much time, how many outfits, how many photos and all that jazz. I'm gonna, don't forget to subscribe, comment below, let me know which of these you're gonna try or if you have already done some of these pricing offers as a brand photographer, let me know what's worked for you or if you have any more questions for me.